L'anglais américain n'est pas du tout facile à comprendre. Ajoutez à cela les expressions idiomatiques et on se perd très rapidement. Mais lorsque les Américains commencent à parler l'argot, <rire> eh bien c'est tout autre chose. Et c'est la raison pour laquelle nous avons emmené notre Américain, le professeur de Harvard, mon fils Cody, qui est l'Américain, pour nous expliquer et essayer de démystifier des mots argot qu'on entend tout le temps. Hello everybody, it's Code Joe, your English coach, and it's Cody. All right, so today we brought over Cody to help us understand some of the American slangs that we see on social media all the time or that we hear in movies or on YouTube. So Cody, are you ready? Yeah. All right, the first one that we hear Perhaps you may not hear it because you don't understand it. So you may not even notice it, but a lot of Americans these days, these are urban words, okay? It's more in the African American community. You need to understand that. It's more so in the African American community. You will hear a lot of people say to stand on business. This is a slang, okay? <laughs> This is a slang. You need to understand it. La raison pour laquelle nous faisons ce cours n'est pas nécessairement pour que vous commenciez à utiliser ces expressions argot, mais que au moins vous les compreniez. Comme ça, lorsque quelqu'un l'utilise prochainement, vous saurez, ah, c'est ce qu'il est en train de dire avec stand on business. So Cody, first of all, do you understand what it means to stand on business? Yeah, yeah. Of course. All right, so what does that mean? And let's try to figure out a couple of examples. Standing on business is when Speak louder. Standing on business is when you take care of that business. Okay, you, you take get care of business. Okay, good. So you take care of business, you get something done. For example, you need to launch a company, a new company, and so you will do everything possible to get that done. And so somebody can say, let's say Cody wants to launch a YouTube channel, <laughs> okay? And, and I'm like, Cody, are, are you sure you can do this? Oh, and he's like, yeah, I can do it. And then three days later, he launches his YouTube channel. I'll be like, damn, Cody, you stand on business, <laughs> okay? Like, no joke, he takes care of what he says he's going to do, okay? So to stand on business to put your money where your mouth is, okay? So, um, to stand on, any other example? I think that that's good enough. Let's move on, <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> next, when do we hear people say, I'm dying or I'm dead? Is it because they're really dead? No, no, <laughs> they can't say it if they're dead. Exactly, they can't say that if they're dead, right? So what does that mean, I'm dying? You're laughing so hard. Yeah. You, it's like you can't even breathe. Like. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead is you're done laughing. You're dead. Like this is crazy. It was so funny. Yeah. So this expression, even though the real word means something sad, something bad, When you use it as a slang, it means something funny. When something is funny and you're laughing your butt out, or your butt off, you use the expression, I'm dying. Okay, this was so funny. I was dying. I was literally dying. <laughs> okay, so that's this expression. But I believe that a lot of you guys know this. You've seen this expression before. The one that you may not have seen is, bye Felicia. <laughs> bye Felicia or sometimes you just hear people say bye bye Felicia bye Felicia so Cody do you understand this expression yeah. or not oh okay cool can you explain it can you break it down so sometimes so like sometimes you just you just disengage from the conversation yeah like, that's bye a Felicia Ooh, okay bye Felicia <laughs> that's a that's a good word you just disengaged from the conversation where did you learn that word to disengage yeah. let's write that oh for me yeah. let, let me write that word here to disengage le petit là il utilise des mots très forts hein, to disengage 
to disengage from the conversation, to disengage from the conversation. You're tired of hearing it, you're like, bye. Bye, Felicia, <laughs> okay? So you can add Felicia, whether it's a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. You can add, Fel even though Felicia is the name of a woman, you can say bye, Felicia, even if you're talking to a man uh, or a woman or a kid, all right? <laughs> Very good. So this is why, how y'all doing so far? Everything is good? <laughs> Guys, again, I know it can be overwhelming. When you're learning all these things, you're probably wondering, where do I even start? Do I start with grammar? Do I start with uh, verb tenses? Do I start with vocabulary? Do, do I start with small, short expressions that we use every day? I know it can be extremely confusing. That is the reason why we have an English immersion program. Nous avons un programme d'immersion anglaise pour les francophones comme vous. Nous avons déjà aidé des milliers de francophones dans plus de 50 pays du monde à parler aujourd'hui couramment l'anglais. Si vous êtes intéressé par le programme, eh bien dans la barre de description, il y a un lien. Cliquez sur ce lien, renseignez vos informations et moi-même, je vais vous contacter pour vous en dire plus. All right? So, the next one, one, two, three, it's the shoes for me. Ah. <laughs> so what does this mean? And I put this in blue because you can replace it with anything that you want. Okay, but this this example is the shoes for me. Like let me let me look at them and, and, and be like, ooh, Cody, it's the shoes for me. What does that mean, Cody? You might think they're looking at your shoes and they're just gonna take them off your feet. <laughs> but Actually, they're saying, ooh, these look so good. Yeah. I would really want these. They, they, look, they look really nice. Yeah, right. I would really want them. <laughs> they're fresh. All right, they're fresh. Oh, I like that. They're fresh. Yes. All right, so glow up. Glow up. Typically, we use this expression for women, okay? We use this expression for the ladies, all right? So let's say that your sister usually looks frumpy and you know she doesn't really take care of her physical appearance but then ever since she met this guy you know she started taking care of herself and so uh tonight she's going out and you saw her and you're like "Ooh, i love the glow up i love the glow up cody what does that mean <laughs> glow up is when you like you look normal or you look ugly then you, you move you move from normal to you, you you can be ugly and then move from normal to great or you can be normal and then move to great <laughs> okay all right but in any event it's a positive physical transformation right yeah. it's a positive physical transformation that's what you call a glow up a glow up <laughs> all right something that glows it catches the eyes right so when you say a glow up that means it catches your eye positively cody can you move so they can take a screenshot of this really quickly yeah, yeah. all right guys take a quick screenshot before we continue all right very good so let's say that you see let's say that you see a couple uh on instagram and they say that they've been together for 30 years and they still look young and they're traveling the world. And uh, somebody comments on the post and says, goals, <laughs> right? Somebody comments on the post and says, goals. What does that mean, Cody? <laughs> goals is like you saw something really cool that someone did and you just want to do it like them. You really want to do it. So that creates a goal. Wonderful. So if somebody inspires you or you aspire to be like somebody else, you're setting a goal. And so you just say goals. Always remember, it's plural. It's not goal, okay? It's goals, goals. Sometimes people put a hashtag. Exactly, I wanted to put a hashtag first, but I was like, I don't want to confuse people. But yeah, this, on la pelle hashtag. And so what he's saying is sometimes people put hashtag goals, all right? Very good, <laughs> I like that. All right, so let's go back to you, the example of, that's the shoes for me, and I say, ooh, that's Gucci. 
You know, ooh, where you bought those shoes from? That's Gucci. What does that mean, Cody? <laughs> Gucci is a luxury brand. Brand, yeah. So when you say that's Gucci, it means you look luxury. You have, you fly. You, you look luxurious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you can use it for physical things just like you can use it for anything that's good or great or amazing. Okay, so for example, let's say that Cody's YouTube channel that we're talking about, let's say he started a new YouTube channel and then within three days, he got 30,000 subscribers. I can be like, damn, Cody, that's Gucci. How did you do that, right? So that's Gucci. It simply means something that is great or amazing, all right? So the last one, let's say that you move to the United States, okay? You move to the United States and it's been five years you have not eaten uh, your mom's you know, local food in Côte d'Ivoire or Senegal, tipped in in Senegal, for example. And then you were thinking, you're like, man, you know, I wish I could eat my mama's tipped in right now. It always hits different. <laughs> so when you say it hits different, what does that mean, Cody? It hits, let me finish writing it first. It hits different. My mom, my mom's food, my mom's food always hit different. <laughs> like this, they exploded my taste bud into <laughs> surprise of greatness. <laughs> All right, can you explain it using just regular words? Oh, okay. So hits different is like, ooh, this is new, this is good. Yeah. I haven't seen this. Yeah. Ooh. So, so hits, <laughs> ooh, okay. All right. So hits different simply means that it's a nice change that you're welcoming. It hits different. That means it makes you feel good, all right? So hits different is never used to express something bad. It's always something good. It hits different. Uh, let's say that you get your paycheck when you most need it, right? You get your paycheck when you most need it, and you're like, man, I had all these bills and I just got paid, man. It, you, know, you know, getting paid at this very specific time, it always hits different. Does that make sense? All right, so again, standing on business is to take care of business. You're dying or I'm dying, I'm dead. That means you're laughing out loud. Bye, Felicia. You want to disengage from the conversation. It's the shoes for me. Is the dress for me? Is the hair for me? Right? It's his hair for me. Show your hair. Come on now. It's the hair for me. All right? That means the hair is nice. It's amazing. It's Gucci. All right? It's Gucci. All right. Goals. Let's say that Cody set up his YouTube channel. And then all of a sudden, within a week, he got 100,000 subscribers. I'll be like, damn, Cody, goals. That means I'm aspiring to do the same thing. A glow up, let's say that's your sister. We talked about that already. She's going out on a date and she looks amazing. You've never seen her like that. You're like, damn, sis, I love the glow up. All right, and then, uh, of course, hits different. We just talked about that. Something nice happened or something you are expecting uh, to happen, happen happened at the right time when you expected it and you're like, ooh, this hits different. All right, everybody, again, the goal is not for you to start using these expressions. Cody, let's move so they can take a screenshot really quickly. The goal is not for you guys to start using these expressions. The goal is for you to understand these expressions so that when Americans like Cody start using these, you know exactly what they mean. If you have other slang words that you want us to explain to you that you've read somewhere on Instagram or seen on Facebook or TikTok, put them in the comments and I will have Cody himself respond to them for you. Si vous avez d'autres expressions argot que vous ne connaissez pas, vous les voyez tout le temps sur TikTok ou Instagram ou Facebook, mettez-les en commentaire et nous allons demander à notre petit Américain de nous les expliquer dans les commentaires également. Et si vous avez du mal à penser directement en anglais et chaque fois vous traduisez du français en anglais, Juste après cette vidéo, eh bien, regardez celle-ci qui est juste ici. All right, everybody. It's Code Joe, your English coach. And it's... Code. All right. See you guys next time. See ya. <laughs>